Hey everybody, uh, this is Pastor Jamie from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. Um, I wanted to take a video today to let you know some of the magic behind uh, the production of worship every week, because I know some of you have been asking. Um, and also, I had some other news that I wanted to share with you. I apologize for the walking around. I won't be for the whole video. First of all, um, I'm standing here where Mark usually does his thing, uh, right here at the piano. Um, where he is where he is every week. Um, then I wanted to show you these cameras back here. The first one holds an iPod or an iPad and that one is pointed directly at Mark. And there's one that goes on the music stand that is pointed in the praise team choir area um, where uh, sometimes we have soloists that help out with the service. Um, now I'm moving to the middle of the sanctuary where we have our additional lighting that is needed for filming and a tripod where we have a camcorder that basically takes a picture of the altar and most of the service as well as zoom in on me. Um, I'm sorry for that. I have no control over it. Uh, <laughs> but um, that's where that part happens. And now I'm walking over towards the lectern. And as you can see behind me, as I get a little closer, um, there is another place uh, for an iPad that is, uh, records the lectors. And then there's another tripod that we attach, um, I believe another iPad to, that it gives us another angle of the altar area. Um, so basically we record from all five of those stations and those cameras. And then um, Don so graciously edits it and puts it all together as well as add the um, screens from uh, our pro presenter um, and is able to incorporate that into um, the service as well so um, all that part's done behind the scenes but that's all that's involved now obviously whenever we get back to uh, gathering in person we are still looking at live streaming our services or recording them and uploading them um, but it won't be able to be done by all those cameras because as you can tell they're kind of in the way of what <laughs> Everybody else is able to see and is kind of a distraction. So we are currently looking at coming up uh, With another way that we'll be able uh, to continue to have our services Available to people via Facebook and our YouTube channel speaking of when we gather back together um Originally, it was proposed that we were going to get together after being closed uh, many weeks that we were going to get together on this 16th of May, and then we had to postpone it till June 1st. And as we continue to follow the state guidelines for gathering, as well as recommendations from the ELCA and um, Synod, which by the way, are only recommendations, um, we are going to be extending that deadline now to reopening the building on July 1st and beginning, um, and then beginning uh, gathering again on Saturday, uh, July 6th. Um, now I know some of you um, will be okay with this decision. Other people um, will be a little bothered by it. Um, but just as we made um, that decision several months ago, for the safety of you and everybody involved in worship, um, we continue to make that decision, continue to keep your well-being and ours um, and whoever may be visiting us um, on our minds. And so that's why we've made the decision again to back it up tentatively now to July 1. And as we get closer to that date, we'll reassess where we're at and see, um, but that's the new thing. You'll be receiving a letter um, with this information um, in the coming week. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up um, so that you knew that. Again, I know, trust me, this is not an easy decision on the leadership's part. Um, and even when we do gather back together, we'll have to honor things like social distancing. Everyone will need to wear a mask for the majority of the service. Um, communion will be differently. Um, the offering will be done differently. Greeting will be done differently. Um, we will be doing away with paper materials from the pews, like all of our books and stuff. So we'll have to rely on the screens. 
or a few bulletins that we'll print up, but there won't be as many. So we highly uh, recommend that you use the screens so we're touching least amount of uh, stuff as possible and therefore have less things to try to clean between services and from week to week. Um, again, all of this stuff as we continue to get a little more idea about it as we receive more information from the CDC and other places, um, we will be sharing with you. Um, but at this time, we won't be gathering together physically. We'll continue our online services, our online Bible studies and devotions and reading of books and whatever else that we may come up with. Um, but uh, in the meantime, just know that we are continuing to pray for one another, to check in with one another, um, because our primary thing right now is to do whatever we can to be safe. Um, and to do our part as a community, not only as Good Shepherd, but the community of Kettering and the other areas that we live, to be able to do our part um, to protect each other. So again, I appreciate you taking a moment to, to uh, watch this video, and I hope I didn't move around too much and make anybody sick. But take care of yourselves and each other. God bless.